All right, let's go ahead and get started, and I'll show you guys my, what I've made here. <clears throat> I like to call it right tech. Uh, for those of you that are not familiar with what tech or LaTeX are, it is a program for creating documents that is oftentimes used for uh, creating mathematical or scientific research papers or textbooks with really nice looking math equations and formulas and all that kind of good stuff. So let's go ahead and get started. First it'll ask us a file that we want to save to, so I'll just go ahead and say test. And so if I press A for more information, it'll display some more information about what Writec is and how it works. Um, There's a learning process, an identification process, and at the very end when you're done writing, then you can create an output document by pressing return. Um, so my program uses a feature recognition algorithm that I wrote from scratch and uh, it can identify individual characters like A. Go ahead and think that's an A and B. And C. <clears throat> All that kind of good stuff. Um, however, there are some characters that it doesn't know yet. For example, it hasn't learned W yet. So if I write a W, then it will have no idea what that is. So in fact, um, I will want to uh, teach it W. So I'll press L to enter learning mode. And once I'm in learning mode, then I'll tell it I'm on. I'm going to teach you W. Okay. So around 15 samples is a good level or a good number to have uh, when teaching uh, this program. So you can write individual W's and it'll process it individually. There's a counter here to help you keep track. Three, four, five. You can also write multiple at the same time if you're feeling like this is taking too long. So that's 15. So go ahead and press enter to exit learning mode. And you press W, then it'll know what it is. It's a W. Nice. So you can also do this exciting thing, which is write multiple characters at once, and it'll process it as one word. So I can write W A T. Take a second, and it thinks that that is wet. Right? So at this point, if we were satisfied with what we had done, I could go ahead and press enter, and it'll create this document for us with the uh, knowledge that we have recorded for uh, the future, A, B, W, WAT. Go ahead and close that. Um, but the real advantage of using tech or LaTeX is being able to write math equations. So if I go ahead and enter math mode, I've already taught it uh, uh, some numbers and some symbols. So I can go ahead and uh, write 2x plus... 3y. So I'll also take some time. But it knows, hey, this is 2x plus 3y. Now note that when you're in math mode, because of the way LaTeX works, you won't be able to compile the document. So what you have to do is you have to leave math mode, and then the option to re uh, create the document uh, comes back. So you can go ahead and press return. Now in the middle, we have this really nice looking 2x plus 3y. And um, this is more or less the fundamental usage of this program, where you can write notes um, in the ideal. It would process it fast enough for you to be able to write notes and equations, and it would process it all. And then at the end, you can just press Enter, and it would compile the whole document for you. Um, at this stage, it is more of a proof of concept, but uh, I wrote this from, from scratch. And um, it has worked fairly well. The individual character accuracy is something like uh, 90% if you don't have little weird things like that. And for complete words, usually the success rate is around 85%. So it has been um, really fun uh, showing this to you guys. And thank you for watching.